Hi guys, I took an old school bike and going to ride a bit uh, in a small Ukrainian village. So let's uh, see what we will see next. This area somewhere between uh, Kyiv and Kharkiv. I've been riding a bike for a long time and uh, end up in some a village. I don't know which one is this, but seems like not much, much people live here and uh, it's quite old village and uh, for me it shows Ukrainian culture so I think uh, such houses uh, like there uh, we can see in every a small village in Ukraine I suppose it was built about 100 years ago probably I might be mistaken uh, also what is interesting there are a well uh, so we have uh, a lot of um, uh, these wells, uh, for example, before people didn't have uh, water in, the, in their houses yet, yeah, and uh, it was a uh, well uh, for one street, and uh, all people from the street uh, could go to the well, take water, bring it to the house, and uh, use it uh, in uh, some uh, spaces for water so it's a, a little bit interesting and uh, what can I say is that we still have some houses which didn't uh, with, uh, which doesn't have uh, a water uh, still yeah so we're a bit uh, far from good uh, civilization which people used to and what is interesting, uh, not many people actually live uh, in the villages in Ukraine. So most people have, uh, for example, apartments in Kyiv. Uh, you could see these uh, high levels apartments and so on. And uh, they actually come to the village uh, to grow up uh, potatoes and so on and uh, make some gardens and uh, like this and uh, actually they have houses uh, separately from Kiev in the villages and spend time here only during spring, uh, summer and uh, a little bit of autumn when they take their uh, vegetables and so on. I don't know why people do it because uh, actually uh, if we talk about vegetables, actually potatoes and beetroots and uh, carrots and cabbage cost not too much in Ukraine. It's uh, the most cheaper products, I think. So it's very, it has a very low price, but people still uh, go to the villages and uh, grow up uh, these vegetables. Just like a hobby, I suppose. I'm also wondering how people grow up here uh, something and nobody steal it uh, because it's just like uh, a field, uh, no uh, security or something. So uh, like me, for example, can take a bike and uh, ride here and uh, steal some uh, cabbage or uh, beet roots or potatoes. <laughs> I don't know, but nobody do it. So it seems like safe to grow up here some, some more vegetables. So it's not popular to go to villages for a younger generation, like, uh, I don't know, 20s, 30s. Uh, me also don't like to go to the village. I prefer to live in a big city, uh, not in the house. Uh, actually, uh, on the apartment, yes, yeah, so for me it's more co common. And uh, I used to this. Uh, but uh, oldest people, like, on their 40s and uh, 50s and 60s, uh, they actually prefer to live in the village. So guys, decided to show you some place. Uh, do you have any ideas what, uh, what this building means? Uh, because if you don't, I will try to explain you. Uh, this building uh, was built as a garage to keep your car uh, and uh, uh, actually, I, I cannot reach this uh, logic because uh, if you live in village, you have a house, you have also land uh, around your house and uh, you actually can left your car near your house, uh, but uh, these garages is still exist, uh, they was built uh, with some logic I cannot uh, understand. So you uh, bring your car here and go home by foot uh, and pay money to keep uh, all this stuff clean and uh, tidy and so on, so I, I have no clue what was it for.
this one I suppose was built uh, as a security office kind of to keep all uh, these garages uh, safe uh, nobody should uh, steal your car but now no one use it uh, maybe someone use it to keep uh, potatoes uh, on the basement which also uh, exist uh, on this uh, uh, garages actually because they have two levels usually so garage for your car and uh, a basement uh, to keep some uh, products so what do you think about that <laughs>